Hello everybody. So I was running around town trying to get a prescription for my daughter and um, <laughs> I was sent way out somewhere in the next town where I don't usually go to and there was a Walgreens. Uh, that's not where I get my prescriptions but uh, there's a Walgreens there so I thought when I was done I'm going to take a stop there and see what cards they have. Well, they had these mystery boxes, which the Walgreens that's near me hasn't had in quite a while. And they had other different stuff, some from last year, you know, older stuff, which was cool, and still had the Fairfield boxes. So it's like, kind of made me think where one of these days I'd like to take a all-day run around to the local places to including like three card shops that I can get to um, and see what kind of stuff I can find so this is kind of cool I haven't seen these in a while this is the two pack one I think they have a one pack one but um, and a possible card because it says mystery card one and four I thought they were all always in these but anyway without further ado let's just see how these turn out some are good some are bad they're ten dollars which you know if they're hobby packs five dollars a pack is actually pretty good um, plus the chance to get the card with it so who knows who knows so I see the two packs and there's a card in here so the card is a Mickey Mantle oh, okay so it's the same same one that's pictured I think on the box so so that's pretty cool. And this is from 2021, I think. I can't quite see that. And the two packs are an Allen Ginter. 2022 and oh. Okay, now I remember uh, these packs. They possibly have the Japanese uh, pack in there. So I bet the other one does too. Oh well, they're still cool to open. and see what kind of stuff you can get uh, so we'll do the Japanese pack first because I noticed this one had a chrome pictured and of course 2022 update that would be cool all right let's just see what here obviously I don't know any there's a numbered card in there don't know any of the Japanese names so if you do let me know so there's Yomatangu out of 199 so that's something to look up all right so here's the Allen and Ginter so Mary Ramirez Greg Maddox. Famous Rivals. Yankees in Boston. That one's kind of neat. Ian Happ. And Trey Mancini. I don't know if that was a... That's no, not a hobby pack. Alright, well, let's look at the next one. I mean, will it be the same? Possibly. I've noticed that with the Fairfield boxes, if you get a bunch at the same place, the pack that you get in there, and sometimes some of the cards are the same. So there's no card in this one, so, so it really is one in four, so it's kind of cool I got one. And this is a little better, you do get the Topps Chrome and the update of 2022. So cool, you get what's pictured in this one. So, all right, that's not too bad. Sure, you don't get the card, but you know. All righty. And this was 2000, yeah, 22 update. All right. And there's, <laughs> you know, in the past, we'd be really excited to get this. But um, we all know what's going on there. Is he ever going to come back and play? I don't know. 
Hunter Green, Kenzie Gore, another rookie, Jordan Alvarez, and Austin Riley. Okay, last pack here. See what we can get. So, you know, these aren't too bad. You know, I don't know. To be honest, sometimes I prefer the Fairfield box over these. And nothing there. All right, so, you know, not too bad. It's at least I got one Mickey Mantle card, a couple good packs in the other box. Uh, not much in them, but better packs. Um, yeah, and this was a hobby, by the way. And the other one was not a hobby, so. All right, give me a sub if you haven't already. Click the like button, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.